In this video we're going to look at what we should, could do if um, if there's only one goal scored and we're, and we're left with large liabilities on the draw if um, if an equalising goal was scored. So here we are with our Arsenal-Liverpool game. So if we just get rid of the best delays that we've placed and there we are at, at one goal we're, we'd laid £10 at 2.58 on the Arsenal that were, were, the, were the winning team. Now as you can see we've reduced the Arsenal um, potential um, profit from the successful lay of, of the draw to 40, 40, minus 44 pence but we're left with uh, a, a very large liability of £52.64 if there's an equalising goal that's on the draw there. So if, if the match remains, if the score remains 1-0 to Arsenal and it's getting towards the end of the game. There could be a very late goal in the game, and uh, which an equalising goal by Liverpool, which would leave us with that very large um, liability on the draw. So what we need to do is, towards the end of the game, look to bet the draw to get rid of to equalise these these liabilities a bit to get get that liability right down. So if we go to the hedge three bet sheet, the, though these these layers, don't forget, will be transferred to the hedge 3 bet sheet. And there they are down at the bottom. There and there. And there's our bet that we had on nil nil of £4.64, which has been a losing bet. Uh, now there, there's our rather large liability on the draw there. And Arsenal sitting at the moment with minus 44p. Now, uh, towards the end of the game, the odds of the draw are likely to rise near the end so if we put in some realistic odds of 8 for the draw we can see that a bet on of 8 of £9.75 at odds of 8 would produce a £5.61 um, profit on the uh, on the draw so if we put that in to see what happens 9.75 whoops sorry odds of 8 or 9.75 and that would give us a profit on the draw and a profit on Liverpool but still a quite a big loss, loss on Arsenal so what we need to do is just delete those up oh, that stake and put part of that stake on to see what happens up there especially to that big liability on the draw there so if we put if we put in uh, odds of 8 and a stake of 5 which is only part of that 975 and see what happens up there so put 5 in there. Now putting 5 on there increases our liability on Arsenal but it greatly reduces the liability on the draw. So adjust that a little bit, put, try to see what 6 does and that reduces it down to 10. We've got ten, minus 10 or minus 6. So we need to make a decision, if we try 7 in there and see what we get. We get if there's an equalising goal we we'll get a liability, liability on the draw down to minus 64, 364 and if it remains 1-0 uh, to Arsenal, minus 7.44. So we need to make a decision while the match is in progress whether to place this bet or not on the draw to reduce the potential big loss of the draw there if there's an equali late equaliser by Liverpool. But in doing that, we would, if the um, score remained at 1-0 to Arsenal, we'd, we would then lose £7.44. Whatever you bet on there would be taken off what you had there originally, which was minus 44 pence. I'll just get rid of that seven, and we had 44 pence minus 44 pence there. If we then put a bet of seven in on there, the gap goes to 7.44. So that's that's one way of reducing the big liability on the draw late in the game. If if there's only one goal in the game, so if there's an equaliser. That is one way of reducing the liabilities if they put on a late equaliser in the game. But in doing that, you increase your loss on what is the winning team at the time. But don't forget, if you can preserve your bank, you'll live to fight another day.